Look at this. I'm seeing it. It's a Lord of the Ring, and it's back. You've been waiting. Uh, just to jump in really quickly, this is uh, this is Lord of the Rings Shadow of War, and I am trying to take over this uh, fortress. So I uh, climb the wall, I'm running there, I got a bunch of orcs in my army, I jump on this guy's head, and then I'm gonna use his magical powers to nuke these dudes. Uh, so this is the sequel to Shadow of Mordor, which was a big surprise hit. Uh, and it is essentially that, but more, a lot more, and you are seeing a lot more in just a second here. Simone, I want you to tell me, can you tell what's happening on the screen right now? So many things are happening. It look you and some allies are trying to take out some many more dudes. Is that what's happening, or is it just you alone? So yeah, it is me and allies. Okay. Um, and that's so. This is obviously the most intense uh, sort of gameplay in the game. It's not all this, um, but that was my experience sort of going throughout it. As he, here's me getting <gasps> killed. Yes. I'm dead now. Oh. Uh, my experience throughout it was that like it's it's it's. Oh. A lot to like think about. It does like a about. little vamp to the camera there after yeah. it kills you, huh? Yeah. So it's a lot to think about. It's a lot to think about at once. Like you, you know, hold one button and that'll let you do four more things from a sub menu, and you've got, uh, you know, obviously dozens of characters on the screen at any given time. But the basic idea is that you are going into this fortress and you need to fight in these highlighted zones for long enough until you can capture them. Um, and uh, you're using, you know, your bow and your arrow and your swords. And uh, here, here, I actually started to find my rhythm. Uh, so this is my second attempt. Um, and because it's Shadow of War, uh, sequel of Shadow of Mordor, um, time actually passes when you die. Uh, so your death is actually an in-game event before you come back. Oh shit! So the defenses that I took out in my previous run are still gone at this point. Mm -hmm. um, so I had a bit of an easier time. So there I am capturing my first point. Uh, here I am riding <gasps> on the back of a Karagor. Uh, this is also new in this game is uh, mounted combat. I think you could shoot bow and arrow from the back of one of them and use their claws, but this I feel like Lance I'm watching the best vacation slideshow ever. Yeah. Um, here's me countering and cutting an orc's head off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the combat is still super fun. Um, the problem is in this particular mode, a lot of times it gets a bit too much to manage because you've got uh, orcs of different, you know, uh, you know, the ones painted blue are your allies, the ones painted red are theirs. It's 2017, so you can uh, jump in the air and shoot a bow That's in slow motion. That's so cool. Um, Worth it just for that. Yeah, but so, and then there's these subtypes of orcs. So it's like, okay, there, some of these are friendly, some of these are enemies. It's a little hard to tell at immediate glance. Mm -hmm. Some of them you can't hit or they'll grab you so you need to stun them first some of them you need to jump over some of them you can't jump over or they'll hurt you it is just so much oh my god um, and then these special types come in as well mm -hmm. um, so this is the mystic assassin orc type enemy the, the the main guy that's that you're fighting in this portion so uh what is his deal so the, the guy who killed me was just a random dude uh and he uh is gonna rub that in my face in a minute <gasps> here when i confront him again just a random dude just some random dude so here i'm cleaning up a little bit i accidentally killed one of my own guys there oops sorry <laughs> um oh, shit there's friendly fire there is friendly oh fire oh my god so again it like it's a lot to keep track of do your teammates get mad at you if no. you kill too many of them? That's, no. I guess, a they'll, good thing? They'll stay your friends. Uh, so this, this is a thing special. I left in here because this is a thing that I cut a lot of this out of the video, actually, is there are a lot of cutscene interruptions where uh, named orcs enter. Um, so it's kind of frustrating because it'll happen in the middle of combat sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, here I am finishing off that guy who killed me last time. So did that kind of throw off your groove when these cutscenes interrupted? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, it's, and I don't know how much of it's going to be in the final version of the game, but in the version I played, you know, sometimes there would be runs of three and f three or four um, rapid interruptions. Take um, that, Shaq the Serpent. Yeah. You're half so that was just a random now. work. That wasn't a, a particularly special one? Well, that, that, he was a general, or okay. he was a, a commander, um, but he was not the boss of this raid or this, mm -hmm. uh, this dungeon. Here's my Elven Fury, which is me just shooting so fucking cool. a bajillion arrows in every direction. Yes, very he helpful for these, like... <laughs> we uh, love you and your three ghost brothers. Yes. Uh, I made that guy mad because he doesn't like fire. So I talked to the devs, and they said that this was maybe a little more chaotic than an average one because each of these fortresses has... Um, uh, a staff of 
people who inhabit it, and they're all going to be there when you assault the fortress, unless you take them out in the overworld. So uh, if this were the full game, I would have had the option to hunt a lot of those uh, named characters down and assassinate them mm -hmm. before attempting this mission, which would have made it a lot easier for me. Um, okay. But I was able to make it to the end here, and I'm in the, the boss room here. Uh, and I'm just fighting waves of dudes. Um, again, a little bit grindy because these uh, foes Ooh. just keep coming um, and it takes a while to chip down the health of the the boss boss orc dude. And is this one the boss here that you're- Nope, that was just oh, a big heavy. Just I jumped a random on his big back heavy. and-, and uh, Oh, the one that was on the throne. So, and then yeah. those named orcs that escaped yes. will of course remember you yes. and you'll have to fuck them up later. Yes, and even that guy that I cut in half may show up again later stitched in, Why? into one piece. That's not cool. Yeah, um, that's it's really some, cool. That's inhumane. The nemesis, Somebody should talk about that. <laughs> I know. Uh, the nemesis system is still really good. It's really cool, uh, even just to have seen it in my little demo here, to be killed by that serpent dude and then run into him later. I hated him so much, and he rubbed it in. He was like, oh yeah, I killed you. Um, it still feels good. It still feels smart. Um, here I am, finally having chipped down. This was this went on for about 10 minutes. Uh, I don't know if I was doing something wrong, uh, but the, he was terrified of me at this point, so it was just a matter of like hunting him down. Finishing him off. He was trying to get out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's one cool thing I just did is uh, now there are instant kill counters. So if you, it's got that Batman counter system, mm -hmm. uh, but if you nail the timing on it to one or two frames, you can instantly kill the person who attacked you. That's cool. Uh, rather than just sort of repelling them. Um, oh, the slow bow motion. Bow and arrow is back. Bow and arrow it's so helpful. is so cool. Yeah. So then uh, rather than kill him, I decided to dominate him. So nice. he, he now works for me. Um, so He's yeah, your new friend. this is Shadow of War. I'm sorry. Yeah, Shadow of War. Uh, it's the sequel to Shadow of Mordor. It's uh, coming out from Monolith Games at the end of this month, at the end of September. But it's a, such a loaded, loaded month. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I captured his his S N M Torture Fortress, and now it's Congratulations. mine. Congratulations. Now, now I'm the boss of S N M. Um, now and, you live there. Yep, and it's my house. I'm really happy for you, Pat. <laughs>